Say hi to everyone. Hi. <laughs> hey guys, so it's been a while since we've done a garden tour update. So here, here we are. We're checking the strawberry patch. So you can see we got little strawberries coming in. We don't pick them until they're red. Come on. So that's the strawberries. My camel mill's right here. It's getting bigger. It's taking forever though. I'm not getting too happy about that. And then here we went ahead and planted. Uh, this is a Mexican herb. It's called epazote. So we have that growing in there. I have some snap peas that I planted and we covered the pots here so the dogs don't get to them. So you can see before we did that they were getting to them. And here we have our squash. And then I planted some backup ones in here that are growing. They came in. They're getting bigger. These seeds here that popped up, they're probably about two, two, three weeks old. So, and again, just a session planted. We got a little squash coming in. We got some more snap peas in here. Let's see if any have popped out yet. Shouldn't be too long before these guys pop out. We should see them pretty soon. We've got our aloe vera and some more radishes in there. And then, let's head on this way. Let's go into our raised bed garden here. Got radishes there. This is our Cherokee purple heirloom tomatoes. Getting bigger. Probably later on today I'm going to come in here and I'm going to trim some of the suckers out to let some airflow go in the bottom. Our basil is doing good. It's getting bigger. That one was planted on 329. This is our Roma tomatillo. No, I'm sorry. Roma tomato. It's getting big. And then, oh, I'm excited about this. So this is our kale. We've been picking off of it, but it's really starting to get big. And then this, which I didn't even see, this is a um, purple, or is it the green one? It, anyways, it's a green bean, pole bean. So my idea, planting it here, is it would go up, then it would trellis that way. Go go still over there <laughs> with the strawberries. You know, the strawberries are really his and the little green bean over there. So if he wants to pick them, yeah, he can pick them. I'm okay with it. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got some more squash in here. I think that's yellow squash. I have okra growing and I'll transplant these okra into the okra bed, but parsley's in there. Parsley's doing good. Here are beets. I need to thin down our beets to one single one that does really good for each little section here. But there's our beets. All right, and come over here. We've got our okra bed. I mixed the okra. So there's the spineless and then there's the red. So there's different varieties. And I took out the squash that was here, transplanted it over there. So here, I uh, planted some more okra seeds. So same thing there, it'll pop out, it's a session planting. Let's take you in here, into our raised beds. So here's my secession snap peas, they're coming up. And then we have the big ones, the original ones, that are getting huge. Look at these radishes in here, planted at different times. And I took out the lettuce. It wasn't doing too good. All the rain that we got really hurt it. So planted some purple potted green beans in here. And exciting news, our tomatillos are now getting their little tomatoes in there so they're all over the plant all over the plant so that's pretty cool right there 
Here is another Roma tomato. It's grown. And I mean, this plant here, the tomatillas, is huge. I'm gonna have to have Nick pick them instead of me, unless I bring a chair over here. <laughs> here are our peppers. This is the yellow bell pepper I bought from the store. Like, it was that big. Now it's getting huge. More radishes. Our broccoli is ready to be harvested. Not this one, but these. In fact, we're about two days too late. That's why they started separating. And they're starting to turn a little yellow because they're actually getting ready to go to a seed pretty soon. The flowers shoot up. So we need to harvest that. This one we're just in time to harvest. And those still have about, I wanna say two weeks, the little ones. Here's my squash. I put my squash vertical just to have more room in here. So we're gonna harvest some squash later on today. And here's our calabacita green squash. There's one in the back actually that I need to pick. I don't know if I can get in there. There it is, that fella back there. And our green beans versus our pole beans. Got some more here. Pole beans are doing good, they're happy. My green beans are about to give me second yield of them. In fact, here's another little green bean there. And here's some more green beans over here that are coming in. So, all right. These are the leaves from some of the squash I had to prune. Planted some roses. Amy really likes that. Here's that squash I was telling you we transferred from the other okra bed. Our cilantro is doing really good. You can see it's already shown its true little cilantro leaves. And then, again, I love squash. So I planted another yellow crooked neck squash in this pot here. Um, actually, I planted three, just in case. So here in about a week and a half or so, we'll have those pop up. And this is my mom's garden, as I call it. Mom loves spinach, so this is a spinach popping out. Probably take this down for you. I put this here to protect it from the dogs. This one has spinach and lettuce, so that's looking good. And then this is green beans, a mixture of different kinds, bush variety, so they won't trellis them. But these are from my mom. I'll pick from here as she needs it. Rosemary, mint. Okay, so this is our cucumber. We planted it, mm, let's say a couple of days ago. Go, go help me. So we'll trellis up here and we'll get some cucumbers. And then this is Gogo's little green bean pot. He's been coming in here and looking at them. He planted some more the other day. All right. So that's it for today. We'll do another update in a couple of weeks. But thanks for sticking around.